Hi. Hi. I'm business. <laughs> let's, let's talk about why is it that the world has got so many barriers, so much, so much outrage, so much of business is actually hated. What if we actually took back control and control was at the community level? A couple of years ago, I started to challenge people in my workshops, in my webinars, to say, if you do not hear the word collaboration in the next 24 hours, I'll give you 100% of your money back, Keith. I haven't given back a nickel. What we're saying is uh, corporate social responsibility is not enough because it still puts business in charge. It still puts the profit motive as paramount and then community and environment is left over there. They come second. You respond in your community. You respond as an environmentalist. By creating shared value, we start with our values, we come closer together, and I actually can't make a move until I've collaborated with these two, community and environment. I cannot succeed. Yes, there will always be very successful billionaires who make a ton of money. And yes, most boards of directors want rock star leaders or presidents or prime ministers. Nobody can be a rock star. Our world is far too complex now. Only by learning together, by having each of your wisdom, can we actually figure this out. Because we can't separate. We can't believe in rock stars. Hillary, Donald, Justin, Angela. They're not going to save us from ourselves. You know, we, it's our time to stand up. This is the new economy. And those in my demographic need to turn to coaches and mentors and away from control. Politicians write the, you know, inform the, uh, the law, inform the regulations. People vote for the politicians. So we need to turn this upside down. Now, and I'm, I'm a big boy, I'm maybe the oldest guy in the room, but with my 40 years experience in leadership and negotiation, conflict resolution, team building, I don't have a big enough ego to say I can change the world. I want some of you to work with me so we can change our world. What if we actually created shared value? What if we collaborated and made it up so we are in control and therefore we need less government, less boards, less lawyers, and we recognize the fact that we are in a digital economy. So why collaborate? Well, I've put up some of the examples. I think for me, why collaborate is because I don't know very much. And it's not only a sign of it getting older and older, it's a sign that the world's changing so rapidly, there is so much complexity that I rely on you. And I rely on people to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I rely on people pushing back to say, hold on, Dave, you've missed a point. So that's why I collaborate. That's why I realize that together we are better. I want to challenge again Synergy Alberta and everyone in this room to say, rather than listening to panels tell us what the system is, what if we actually proactively created a better system for our communities? That's possible, and that's world leading, and it's Canadian, and there's a yearning for this globally. Let's accept that we are a global movement. Let's accept that it's not going to work for most situations. We're trying to figure this out. And I invite everyone to join in the conversation and, and create a template, create a roadmap. Let's not wait for Harvard. Harvard are smart folks, but they're not us. So I'd like to uh, thank you, and I think it's really important that community, business, and environment actually link here. I think uh, that's the only way it is. Thanks, everyone.